Welcome to everybody. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Renee Inman. I'm one of our county judges here in Manatee County. We are here for first appearances this afternoon. Each person who is arrested is entitled to see a judge within 24 hours. We are here to make sure that there is a probable cause, consider whether I should appoint the public defender to represent you, and consider whether you should be released and in what terms. Present with me at this end is an attorney from the state attorney's office and an attorney from the public defender's office. We are not here to talk about the facts of your case. We are recording these proceedings and it is probably not in your best interest to talk about your case. I'm going to advise you all of the following rights. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right, so we'll go ahead and start first with Aaron Kuziak. <clears throat> Sir, I, the charges against you are murder, defrauding a pawnbroker, second count of defrauding a pawnbroker, and two counts of dealing in stolen property. The two counts of dealing in stolen property are second degree felonies. The two counts of defrauding a pawnbroker are third degree felonies. And the murder count is a first degree felony. I'm going to be asking that the public defender be appointed to represent you in this matter. Sir? I'm asking you. I apologize. I was reading or I was signing this piece of paper. Did you hear the charges that I've announced to you, sir? I did. Okay. Are you going to be asking that the public defender be appointed to represent you? They have stopped by and I did fill out the indigent paperwork, so they are going to be. Okay. I'll go ahead and appoint them. If at some point you get private counsel, they can certainly substitute in at a later time. Anything from the state? Judge, what was the defendant's name? I got it. Yes, Your Honor. Rebecca Crow for the state. The state's asking for no bond on the homicide charge and the bonds on the other charges. They remain the same. He does have some minor history. It looks like all misdemeanors from 2003 to 2009 and then one possession of controlled substance in 2014. I know Your Honor has a PCA. Are there any other questions on this case? Okay. Thank you. Ms. Prater, anything? No, Your Honor. Ms. Hunter will be taking over this case and we are not going to at this time contest a zero bond, so I don't have any argument as to bond. What I do want to place on the record is the statements, the substance of his statements that were made. There is actually an exemption in Florida Statute 119.071, and I'm citing this off of an email we received from Matt White, subsection 2E. There is a process I think that we have to go through to make sure that the substance of the statements are not released to the public, and we are certainly doing that, but until the court makes a final order, I was told that orally I can ask that that be done so that his substance is not released until the court can make a final order. Okay. Any objections to the oral one at this point? Certainly subject to, and I'll give you five days to file such a motion. Sure. That way we don't have an unlimited sealing order under Chapter 119. Great. Okay. All right. So for purposes of today, sir, I'm going to appoint the public defender. I'm going to find probable causes to all five of the charges that are pending. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. All five of the charges pending against you. As to the murder count, I'm going to leave your bond at no bond. As to counts one and two, the false owner on pawn items, I'll leave those at the $1,500 and the dealing and trafficking and stolen property at the $7,500 schedule amounts. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Gilbert, we haven't done our interpreter.